Evening, everybody. Welcome down to the Aubrey Hockey Centre for our Round 13 matchup. Got our second place with Donga and the Div 1 men's coming up against fourth place, fourth place Norse. Uh, should be a cracking game. Cass Argus for All in Sports. Special comments, Dom Wild. Dom, welcome. Thank you. Should be in for a good game here. I'm expecting plenty of goals tonight. We've got Ian Beath fresh off a seven-goal haul a couple yeah, of weeks. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah, nine, very impressive. Nine-seven in that game it was. I think they got up and he got seven of them. So. Coming yeah. up against Ethan Albon, one of, the, one of the leading goal scorers in the association this year. So I'm expecting plenty of goals today. It should be. It looks like Wodonga might be the favourites here, Don. What do North's got to do to beat them tonight? Yeah, I'd have thought uh, Wodonga would probably be favourites. A lot more fitness, youth in their team. Uh, I don't know. North, obviously, they're a dangerous team going forward on breakaway, but if they defend well, mark up, and just shut those players down, don't give them an easy pass, they'll... Uh, They'll be right. So we're just starting in the game here. And Norse on the attack straight away. Ian Beath towards the top of the circle, but met with plenty plenty of Wodonga players. Might win his team a free hit here. Good defence there from Wodonga. Sees the ball go out. As we start our first quarter, we thank our major partners, BF Transport, back on track physiotherapy, NZ Aubrey and the commercial club Aubrey. And Wodonga looking to bring the ball out of defence, but pretty good start here from North Dom. They're yeah. Look like they might be on song in the first quarter. That bit of attack from North, so that's what Wodonga have really got to worry about. Turnover in that middle, and they're quick to get away. Lucky just to defend them well there. So Brown gets North started here off to Pertell in the middle. Beef looks like he wants to get his hands on the ball early in this game. He'll be very... He's going to have to fire for North to win. But Wodonga coming through with that speed that Don Wilde talked about. Beautiful ball from Wodonga's defence, but just not quite anyone forward. No one there to get it. <coughs> so I thought they signalled a 16 there, but it looks like it's a long corner to Wodonga. Yeah, I think it just came off the defender's stick there. Got a touch on it. Free hit here just outside the circle. Thought it might have happened inside and might have been deliberate, but Mulrooney to take the hit. Little misfire there, but Wodonga had plenty of backup. So a bit of a slow build up here, Don. What are they have they got a structure they're looking to play to here? Not quite sure. It's a bit of an odd setup. Jeremy Payne usually plays in the midfield or up the front and he's started off as a central defender controlling the game for Wodonga, so I'm not quite sure what their plan of attack is here. We'll get into it a bit and see what they're trying to do. Do you think that might have anything to do with him being the coach and just wanting to see the game from the back line before he inserts himself in? Yeah, maybe, yeah, potentially. We'll um he obviously is quite a smart character, played a lot of hockey, so you might be right there. So Graham and Farrant working the ball out wide here. Wodonga do take it back, though. Pertell gives it up. Pritchard, another prolific goal scorer for Wodonga. Looks like he's he's got a bit of razzle-dazzle there with a the stick. Yeah, Josh has got some great skill on him. Payne trying to be nice and, uh, and aggressive there, but does give the ball back. Beautiful from, from Beath, finds his runner out there. Chew out there on the wing, takes it into the circle and wins the free hit for his team. It'll be a short corner. First short corner for the game, Dom goes to Norths. Yeah, that was two Norths on four Wodonga defenders and they've managed to get a result out of it. So, like we said at the start, <coughs> Wodonga have got to be really careful of that. So not a lot forward at the moment for Norths on the circle. They look very light on in terms of attack here. Generally, you might see another one or two players up around near the circle. You've got two Beaths and a Pertell on the top of the D, probably three of the best strikers in Aubrey, or three of the best cleanest all we strikers need. of the ball. We'll, uh, I'm sure it'll be a straight hit here. So ball comes out to that man, Beath on top, takes it in, winds up. Beautiful run out from the Wodonga defender. Does manage to find his foot in the way, but good there from McQuilton. That's David. Plenty of McQuiltons out there today. Umpire's just conferring as to where the free hit should be taken. It's Beath to Beath again, straight into the circle, looking for the deflection. Good work there from Ben Martin. Keeping a really good season so far this year, averaging less than a goal a game against him and not much more you can ask for from your keeper, Dom. No, nah, Amato's a good keeper. Been around a long time and yeah, knows where he's at, knows what to do. So Powsey pushes the ball forward, but there's no Norse up there. So Payne's still playing in the back line here. Gets the ball, goes forward. Little bit of a bobble there and well done to Powsey who picks it up. 
Payne correcting his mistake there. Just comes flying through the middle, and this might be what he was thinking about, Dom. Jeez. That's a great tackle by Matt Graham there. Really good tackle. There has been a whistle blown. Everyone, it was actually a... In the meantime, Ian Beath is taken in the circle. Beautiful shot on goal, but well done, Ben Martin. We were too busy looking at the collision yeah, in the yeah. middle, Dom. Yep. Gotta be, he's a sneaky, sneaky player, <laughs> Ian Beath, isn't he? So, a bit of action here to start this game. Norse are up for this tonight. Nice build up there from Wodonga, but the ball just a little too hot there for Mulrooney. But he's starting to look a little bit dangerous forward. What can you tell us about him, Dom? He's a good young striker. He's got a lot of skills. Um, he's probably stepped away from the Spitfires crew there for a couple of years, and he's come back in this year, and he's a big part of that squad. Um, so, yeah, he's really stepped his game up, starting to learn, know when to use his skill and not to use his skill, and deadly when he gets in the D. True to form from the commentators, commentators too, right? As you pump up his tyres, he gives the ball back straight yep. to the opposition. Perfect. Bit of a curse. Hopefully when he watches this back, he'll, he'll know that was your fault, not <laughs> yeah. his own. I'll take the blame. <laughs> so Farrant to take the free hit here for Norse. Norse starting to make their first couple of changes. But I've got to keep looking short. Use their, pa their pace off the ball. Make the ball do the work and then lead. Pass and lead. They'll run Norse off their feet if they do that. So good pressure from Beath, but Wodonga managed to get around that. Ball through here to Innes. Pressure from Powers, who seems to be everywhere at the moment. He's been on both sides, forward and back, so not sure he's playing any kind of traditional position. It's a nice touch there from Melbourne, but well done from the Norse defence and clears it out nicely. North defence will struggle to keep up with Alban if he gets the ball and wants to take off. He's absolutely lightning. Definitely looking dangerous with him and Mulrooney up there. Would they have played much together? Oh, I think they probably would have played a lot of club together. Um, yeah, Mulrooney's a bit, he's a bit of a younger vintage than uh, Alban, but yeah, they'd have played a bit together. Mulrooney's been in the first grade team there for a while for Wodonga. So about halfway through our Cavalier Homes first quarter, no Jake Ho Aubrey Wodonga goals yet, but I think we've definitely got some in us tonight, Dom. Definitely, yeah. Good chase down and pick up there from Albon. Straight through one defender, but couldn't get through the second. This gives up on the play thinking he had a free hit, but the age-old adage that you've got to play the whistle, Dom. Mm. Never so stop. Wodonga on the attack again now. Albon just starting to insert himself into the game after a quiet couple of minutes. Looks up, finds Mulrooney, but bu brilliant tackle there. Graham in defence. Get the fresh man on the pitch. Gives the ball back to Wodonga and they'll build up again here. So looking to get into the circle through McQuilton. That was David again. Tor on the pitch for his first run. Good work from him in defence, but it's still a shot on goal here for Wodonga. A wild swing from Mitchell, but manages to get it out. Not deemed as dangerous. Had to be borderline for mine. I'll let it play. Not often you see a defender with a wild near softball swing up in the air. I just want a bit, bit better connection next time <laughs> over the fence. <laughs> he was probably looking for a bit of a rest. <laughs> so McQuilton tries to take it in, wins the team a long corner here. Wodonga just seem a little lost in attack, Tom. I'm not seeing... Sort of the normal shots on goals that they would get. Norths are manning up really well. All the defence are yeah, right on their players, not giving them, giving them an inch or an opportunity to even make a clean trap. Hopefully they can maintain it, keep it close all game. So David McQuilton to take him on the attack here again. Touch from Powsey, but does he go up in the air? Plenty of pressure yeah. from Beath. He come no, from nowhere. From Thought he'd won his team the free hit. Pertel manages to mop it up, finds Beath. Screaming ball Ooh. sideways out here. Not sure who he thought he was going to. He just wanted to put the pressure on, I think, to get it up his team's end. I don't think Seth Leach saw that one coming. He <laughs> took his head off. It is possible, too, that he may have lost it in the lights. Yep. Not a lot of nighttime hockey played, but it does. the pitch looks great tonight under the lights, and hopefully it's coming across nicely in the stream. John Pertell playing around with the ball in the 25. Injected into the circle, looking for a stick, but couldn't quite find one. For mine, he might have had Kurt Beath in mind there. 
Yeah, I reckon Beath was the target. Just missed it. Hasn't had too many touches yet, Kurth Beath, so look to play himself into the game. I thought he was playing a bit more of a defensive role there, but he's stepping up and sliding through into the attacking D. So Wodonga attacking, attacking quickly. The 40 there and Caleb Burke bringing it forward. Finds our man Mulrooney. Has to be a short corner yeah, and it is. A short corner out of it. And to cut back inside and Matthew Graham's hands are in the air, but I think he might know he's given away one there. And interestingly, Dom, the other streams we've had for Wodonga, they, they do have different kind of setups in short corners to most of the other teams. Yep, they've got a good flicker. Albon's a good flicker. He scores a lot. Um, Mulroney is a, uh, a backup flick, but they'll look to get people in and around the pads after the shot on goal. So, so the Cavalier Holmes time clock stops at 5 minutes and 46 seconds to go in the first quarter. Wodonga looking to get the first Jaco Albury Wodonga goal for the day. Beautiful ball out, but the trap's bobbled by Mulroney. It'll be a free hit to Norse, who take it quickly. Tor looks up, sees Beath, but good work there from the Wodonga defender. Seth Leach it was. Propels his team forward. Ball into the circle, gets the deflection. Albon just out of nowhere. Nearly gets his team his first goal there. And we just see Jez Payne coming on and... As we suspected, Dom going forward. Sliding up the pitch a bit there. Is he the type of operator that watched the game from the back and knows what needs to be done here? Can we yeah, expect he'll, something? He'll have a fair idea. He'll know where the channels are now and where to where to move, where he's got space to take the ball. He loves to run with the ball. In the meantime, Pritchard's cut off the ball, gone to find, stick in the circle, but finds a north foot instead, and we'll have our second short corner for Wodonga for the night. Yeah, Pritchard, two opportunities there. That ball through to Albon over the spot. It was good vision and then comes through with a short corner. So just under five minutes to go in our Cavalier Holmes time clock. Dom, if Wodonga would score a goal here, uh, um, Norse have probably been on top so far for the game, so it would be against the run of play. I'd have thought so, yeah. Yep, definitely. So it looks like it'll be Pritchard to, to push it out and Jez Payne's put himself on top as the trapper, but two setups here. Which way do you think it's going here, Dom? Uh, left, Castle, to... Albon. To the left it goes. Payne traps it. It's the flick from Albon, but beautiful from Sipple. But the deflection's gone back in, and it's Pritchard coming from the injector. Knocks the ball into the goal, and our first Jaco Aubrey Wodonga goal of the day goes to Wodonga. Yeah, Wodonga are really good at that sort of goal. They'll put the ball on target in short corners, and they'll get that experience in around the pads and make it count if it comes out and it's not cleared away from the pads. They really are a little bit more advanced than some of the other teams in terms of short corners. Does that come from Jez Payne? Um, Albin's always had a dangerous flick on him. Uh, he's always been a great player, but yeah, he's always had a dangerous flick. I've got a He's card actually here, just I'm got out sure. a green card too. Who's he pointed at there? I'm not sure. Is anyone going Was it off? A no card or a he pulled out a card, but I don't know. He pulled out a. Pulled out a green card, appointed at someone, but no one's come off, Tom. In the meantime, though, Norse on the attack here. Pertel fires it in. Does find the foot. Got a bit lost there, I did. I was worried about cards and no idea what was going on. Well, the ball's gone flying into the circle. It's come off Josh Pritchard's. He's saying stick, but I think Craig Pont, the umpire, is saying it's come off his, his hand. Just a bit of confusion down here. Yeah. Yeah, Craig Pont's only going to blow what he sees. He's a good umpire, so he's obviously seen something that we've missed, and Josh has obviously One thought it's One of the best not... we have to offer. Yeah, he's a great umpire. So it looks like we've got Beath on top again. He did get a good shot off last time, but Martin was up to the task. See if he can go again. Beautiful ball out. Beath with time, but he thought he was going to go the layoff. Gets the free hit. Wodonga are flying out in defence. Dom, it, does it need to be maybe a pass off? Yeah, He's just not I getting think time. so. Pertel set up on the right, so I'm assuming that's what that intended target was. Looks like it'll be Seth Leach. He come flying out. Again, the pressure comes from Leach again. Little bobble from Beath. Leach may have just been running a little bit too, too fast for his own feet there, but we push on. Pretty crafty there by Ian. I reckon he might have had a hold of him and made sure he didn't get away and get that ball. But anyway, that's all right. That's... The smarts of Beath. 
Picked up by Kurt B. Finds and takes it into the circle. Winds up. May have found his team a free hit. No. Long corner. Thought it might have hit the foot. So a touch over three minutes to go on our Cavalier Homes time clock. Wodonga one, Jaco Aubrey Wodonga goal to North Nil. Blood. I think we've just had a blood rule maybe come off. Uh, That's why that the player was allowed to come on for the bench instead of halfway. There you go. Looks like he has got a little bit of blood coming out there. So Pertell in the meantime puts the ball into the circle for Norse. Norse are getting plenty into the circle, just not able to get the deflection that they're looking for, Dom. No. Wodonga would want to be careful, obviously. Don't give him too many opportunities. And if Pertells or Beats get an opportunity in there or a bit of space, it's, yeah. More than likely going to be a goal for them because they're deadly. So good pressure from Get here. Gets the ball off to Powsey. Looking for Beath again on top. Uses his skill. Gets yeah, onto the Tomer. Martin covers it. Great start to the game from him. As it's come out, pressure from Norse again. Has just found the foot of McQuilton and will have another short corner. Dom, how many short corners in until they maybe look to make a bit of a change to what they're doing? Yeah, it's probably got to make a change now. They can't waste them. There's no point wasting them. You need to score off them. Still beef on top. Possibly do you think it might come out to someone else to make that first runner change direction? So get to push out. Straight to Beath on top. Bobbles it a little bit. Beath goes out wide. Winds up. Oh, Beautiful pass off to Powsey. Oh, we've got a stroke. Did you see what the stroke might have been for, Dom? I didn't I think it was, um, there was a, person, a North player on the back post. Um, and I think the defender might have clashed with their stick and stopped them from scoring a goal. So if you're the last defender on the line and you impede on an attacker scoring, then it's a stroke, uh, obviously, because so it's a professional foul. So Ian Beath from North, looking to tie it up here, will take the stroke. He would have done this a million times in his career, Beath. Oh, beautiful from Martin. Beath tried to go to the left and Martin had it covered. So Wodonga, uh, sorry, North's best chance for the night, covered off by Martin again, who, beautiful start from him. He's had probably about four or five really good saves. Yeah, that's uncharacteristic of Beathy to miss that one. He wouldn't have missed too many no. in his time. If he gets no. another chance, I don't think he'll miss again. I think if he gets a chance in the day at all, I think it'll be coming off quite fast. Two minutes to go. In the first quarter, our Cavalier Homes time clock will show you that. Wodonga with a 1-0 lead, but really probably equal possession in the game. And Wodonga's goal, just off a short corner, came probably against the run of play, Dom. Yeah. It's, uh, As we say that, though. Jez Payne put himself forward. So tall with the ball coming up the middle. A lot of speed there. A little bit of body on body. A little bit of a warning there from umpire Craig Pont for everyone just to calm it down a little bit. Tall looks like he's a very busy player out there, Dom. Yeah, he gets pretty excited. Runs around, tries to control the play a little bit. Beath with a beautiful move inside the circle. Didn't get the chance to wind up and take the shot, but does win, it, win his team a short corner. Tick under a minute to go. The Cavalier home's time clock and Norse with yet another chance to tie it up here, Dom. North, North's definitely on top. They've actually had some really, really good shots on goal, but it's just Ben Martin standing in their way at the yeah, moment. He's a good keeper. Beath, he's played a lot of hockey with him, so he'd know how he plays as well. Most of the shots have come off him. so. And it looks like that change we've called for on the short corner setup has, ha has happened. Kurt Beath on top now. They'll be expecting the pass off to Ian. Kurt with a little bobble with the trap. Well picked up by Pertel, that's John. But again, the Norse defence keep him out, so... One or two more chances here for North in, North in this quarter to tie it up. Pass there across into the circle. Martin had it covered. Three hits found just outside the circle. The pitch seems to be a bit bobbly inside the circle. Especially like, around the top of the yeah, circle there. Yeah, short corners. <laughs> a bit of aerial work there from Kurt B. I think he, as he turned to realise that he didn't have the shot, he did hold back. Could have caused some damage if he didn't. <laughs> So 15 seconds to go, Cavalier Homes time clock. Wodonga will get one more chance here. It's a good little Albon ball over. Albon's got legs here. 
Sipple's come well out of his out of his goal. And a short corner found. Yeah, that's probably fair enough to be honest. They've intentionally tried him tried to hold him up outside the D and only one to beat. So this short corner will see us to quarter time. Interestingly enough, even though Norse have been all over Wodonga in the game, there is a chance here Wodonga take a 2 0 lead heading into quarter time. And being that it's close to the end of the quarter, the entire team, bar the goalie, up inside the 25, Don. North will kick themselves if they can score a goal on this. North have got to work back hard here and try and stop any kind of deflection. Sipple seems to be able to stop that first shot, but it's the deflection afterwards he needs some help with. So Wodonga players everywhere. Interesting setup on top. A great injection out. Shots on from Albon. Saved by Sipple. They need to clear it out here. Norse, the ball comes back through again. That'll see us to quarter time. It's a great save on the line. Perfect. Norse had to stop the goal there, didn't they, Don? Yep. They didn't deserve to be 2-0 down at quarter time. Good save by Sipple and, yeah, well, so was we'll rummaged around. Head into our first break. Wodonga with a 1-0 lead. Back in a couple of minutes.
Evening everybody, just a bit of an update for you. We've actually had a power outage down here around East Albury and down at the Hockey Albury Wodonga Centre. Just no lights around at all, just chatting to the umpires. We will rate for around 30 minutes to see if play will resume. Uh, however, it will take about 15 minutes for the, the lights to kick in. Team at All In Sports will keep you updated if we go back live again. But for now, take a break, go grab yourself, make a hot drink and hopefully we'll be back. If not, we'll keep you updated.
Evening everyone, just a little update for you. The lights are just powering back up here at the Aubrey Hockey Centre. We're probably around about five minutes away from play getting back underway. So tune back in, let your friends know it's going to be back on and we'll see you all in a couple of minutes. Welcome back everybody to tonight's Match of the Round live stream. After about a 15 minute delay with the power going out, Don Wild, we're going to get play back underway in a sec. Back into it. Lights at full brightness. Boys are ready, warmed up again. 15 minutes ago we were going home. Yeah, packed up. We thought we were done, but yep. the lights have come back on. But I can tell you what, for those of you at home in front of the fire, the, the weather has turned down. It is starting to get very cold down here at the Hockey Centre. Tom Wild, Cass Argus for All In Sports, braving the cold to bring you the rest of the stream tonight. Thanks to our major partners, BF Transport, Back On Track Physiotherapy, NZ Albury and Commercial Club. Looking at the scoreboard, about to tick into our the start of the second quarter. Wodonga with one, Jayco Albury, Wodonga goal today leading 1-0 and we're just underway now, second quarter action. So, I mean, Dom, the delay, perfect timing, but... Is there a team you think the the break favoured? Yeah, I'm not too sure. I don't. I, I know if I was playing, I wouldn't appreciate a break uh, one quarter in. But might have given Wodonga a bit of an opportunity to discuss what their game plan was. They were looking a bit lost there the first quarter compared to what they usually like. So they might have had a discussion and sorted a few things out. You're right, and also we're all over him. And you think give probably gave time for Coach Jeremy Payne just to reset the game plan, have a think about how that first quarter went, and, and try something maybe a little bit different. Yep. bit more of a delay here. We've lost a ball over the fence. <laughs> Just as we get, get play back underway. Thanks, boys. One of the boys has popped it over the fence. You can see a dog floating around out there that's about <laughs> seconds away from picking up that ball. John Pertel to get us back underway from the far sideline. 
looks up, but Wodonga had had a chance to set back up defensively. As we say that, they do get the turnover. Sonta, haven't called his name too much tonight, but very capable player. It's Albon. Defenders everywhere on him. Yeah, that's a good and a call And a short there. corner. Yeah, great call. Deliberate over the sideline action, yeah. do you think? Yeah, you can't swing him around your body like that. And the intention was to sweep the ball over the baseline, and that's what he's done. So, fair call. Would Norse have... Do you think they would have chatted about trying not to give away short corners to Wodonga being that they are so strong on them? I think they'd have discussed it before the game. I know every other club does. I know Falcons, when we have a bit of a discussion before games, we're discussing. I know I'd certainly be yeah. trying to avoid it. So about a minute and a half in on our Cavalier Homes time clock. Wodonga with the chance here to go 2-0 two, two up. Pritchard will push the ball out. Good push out. Mulrooney it was that took the strike. Good work from Sipple. Always a little bit iffy when you're a cold goalkeeper coming back on after a break like that, but he's done well. Mitchell goes high, goes long. Not sure Beath was expecting him being able to do that. A little bit of quarter time action too. We heard Beath blaming his daughter for the missed stroke. It's her stick he's using tonight and nothing he, he did wrong. It was the daughter's stick is nah. the reason why he didn't <laughs> score. <laughs> He'll look for any option to blame others. And those of you who might not know, Ben Martin, the keeper for Wodonga, is actually Beast's brother-in-law, so plenty of competition. So good moves from McQuilton here, finds Pritchard, who was our goal scorer earlier. Beautiful work from Farrant. Very strong in defence, Farrant, tonight. Always is, too. Very consistent player, Dave Farrant. Are you seeing anything different, Dom, this quarter to what we're seeing in the first? Nothing at all, really. Norths are still man-to-man, -man marking well, and Wodonga still pretty stagnant, not moving around, and haven't changed any positional play. I tend to think Wodonga are sometimes at their best when they're playing fast hockey, and it's just not... You were saying it earlier on with the short passes, they just don't seem to be able to get that happening tonight. No, and Norths aren't exactly a fast-playing team. They're a, a quick breakaway team, but they don't look to play the ball fast. They're a long hitting, so Wodonga would hate that. And is it Norths, do you think, slowing them down? Definitely. Yeah, when they get free hits, they don't take them very quick ever. And they're always looking for that long, hard pass through to so one of their Innes key strikers. Looked up, nowhere to go, so just wins his team the free hit. Good work there from Sonta to get into the open, but the Norse defence has come back. Beautiful ball from Sonta. Probably really should have been picked up. So a bit of a lacklustre start here. A couple of minutes into... Our Cavalier Homes second quarter. Yeah, good out. Risky play from Farrant, but it paid off. High risk, high reward. Mitchell just fighting off a little more than he could chew there, and McQuilton with the quick, Matt Graham quick read play. It. Matthew Graham in the quarter time break, the viewers wouldn't have heard. You did pump his tyres up a little bit, saying how good of a defender he is, and he just shows it there. He's dangerous. You've got to get the ball in the air if you want to beat him. He's dead flat stick tackle. and got to get it in the air. Yeah, you've got a little lifts over the stick. If you keep the ball flat on the ground, you're in big trouble. And then... Oh, Kieran McQuilton ball. bringing Wodonga into the circle. It was a beautiful ball, but Scott Sipple, as he does so well, leaves it. He leaves, leaves the goals often, Sipple. Backs agile. himself in. Very agile. So Wodonga's still on the attack here, but again, Norse have manned up really well. All bar probably Ian Beath back in defence. Good from Mulrooney taking it into the circle. Beautiful ball out wide to Sonta. He takes the shot. But Dave Farrant in the way. Well covered. That's a better build up from Wodonga. Shorter passes, move it around. You've move been the calling defense. for it all night, the yep. shorter passes, Tom. That's it, that's what they do well. So Wodonga on the attack again. He thought he was going to get a deflection into the circle, didn't get it, so gives away the free hit. Back up. Are you ready? So plenty of talk out there from Wodonga to set up. 
Barrett does go short, finds Pertell. Bit of structure here from Norse, which isn't something we've seen a lot of this year from them. No. In saying that, I'm not sure they've had their full team here for most of the year either. It's looking a lot more controlled on the ball, Norse, than what I'm used to seeing. Line changes here for Wodonga. Yeah. Three on, three off. They just seem to have six or seven on the yep. bench every week, don't they? So a little bit of a mistrap there from Leach, but he is backed up by his keeper in Martin, but Beath yes, will grab it here and quick. go straight away. The players streaming through everywhere. But good from Wodonga there. Leach had made the little mistake, but managed to keep it, keep the ball. It's a lot of end-to-end -end hockey, Dom, happening, but unfortunately when it gets to each end, we're not seeing too much. It's quick through the middle. Both teams just not quite probably attacking the way they want in this second quarter. Yeah, that's probably more North style of hockey, the end-to-end -end type uh, fast or fast breakaway hockey, long balls, but it's definitely not Wodongas, and they're falling into that trap. Good touch from Tor, but couldn't get it through Payne. Payne and Pritchard, dangerous combo, them two together. Pritchard for the first time tonight winds up from halfway to the circle. Trying, so, trying something a little bit different. And well, Rooney trying to win the ball. He's looking very busy up there this quarter, Mul Rooney. The break, a couple of these younger fellas, the break's done them well. So Beat's got his son on the run, but well done from Josh Pritchard. Captain for Wodonga, leading from the front. Not something you see from Ian Beath often, just holding up play here and looking at what's going on. Beautiful ball from Tor. Beath comes in, wins his team the short corner. Good vision from Kurt there to know that Ian was going to run through and just popped it, popped it out behind him and probably didn't go to his stick as much as he wanted, but still got the end result. And Tor's been a really dangerous link player. As he's not on the pitch for the whole quarter each time, but when he does come on, just comes on with energy and he's linking really well with the Beath boys, winning the team short corner here. He's also very deadly if you get him inside the circle on the reverse stick. He's got a brutal reverse hit on him. So we see Brandon Pertell on the circle just to the left of Ian Beath here. First time we've seen him up top tonight. Ball out to Beath. But Lex to go to the right. So North still in control here, but they are outside the circle. That man Tor, who's starting to become a favourite of ours, Dom. Busy again, wins himself the ball. Looking to go into the circle here, North. See if they can win themselves another short, but great defence there from Wodonga. And as we see it here, Sonta just clears the ball forward. That's Looking for Mulroney, he's got some speed. Just falls short. That was some real speed from Mulrooney there. Did we know that, that he had that in him? Never seen him move that quick before in my life. <laughs> I'd have to have a chat with him after this, I think. I might see that at Spitfires on a Saturday. It'd be nice. Is he playing at all this year? He is, yeah. yeah. yeah he's been playing all, most of the season, apart from a couple of games due to work commitments. But, no, he's been having a really good year. Really stepped up, which is good to see. So, Norse looking to build up again. Push themselves forward here. Ooh. Not sure what he meant to do there, but they take a bit of work here from Norse to save it here. Matt Graham, just a bit of speed, bit of skill. Pertell in the middle, trying to go back to Graham, Ooh, who kept no. on running. He'll probably end up uh, on the bench yeah, here, I'd have thought. put his hand up. I think he yeah. knew he was in trouble in green too. So Matt Graham will want to come off quickly so his penalty can start. Probably knew he'd done the wrong thing. Thought I'd try the nice guy hand in the air and get away with one. So just over five minutes to go on the Cavalier Homes time clock. Second quarter. Still a 1-0 score here. Wodonga the only ones with a Jaco Aubrey Wodonga goal, but not from a lack of trying from Norse. Some really good shots on goal today. Beath looking to stream through, but couldn't get past Innes. That wide finds Payne. Oh, oh, good turn special in Special move there from Mulrooney. Just turned his man inside out. Pass through to Sonta, but an air swing couldn't quite get it through. And 
beautiful build up from Wodonga Dom. Yeah, that's great hockey. Jez with the vision there. Patient, patient, waited for a defender to commit and then threw it to the other player, which was Mulroney. Mulroney's very hard to defend on. His hands are so quick. He looks like he's doing nothing with the ball and then all of a sudden he's pulled a big inside drag on you and you, you don't really see it coming, to be honest. So in the meantime, we've had Kurt Beath go streaming forward here, looking for Ian, but a touch there from Wodonga. Pertell, that's John. Unable to get through David McQuilton. Had a good first corner, David. So these final passes, both teams are good between the halfway and they're attacking 16 yard. And then as soon as they get near the D, it's just not much happening. Well, they're both slamming the ball into the circle, but neither really have anyone sort of on the pads to get that deflection or just... Just either side of the pads to get that, so possibly something in adjustment at half time. Bit of a delay here, no ball. That one must have gone over the fence without anyone realising. Oh, we now we've got now. two balls. Yep, better than one, none, I suppose. Well, they asked for it and they got it. So Graham comes back on, probably <laughs> perfect timing from him with the delay in the ball going missing. Oh, Tor absolutely wound up there and found the foot of foot of Mac McQuilton. Very sore. <laughs> this kind of weather too, you yeah. cop a ball to the foot, it's going to sting for a bit. Really nice ball there from the 217 for North, Taylor Brown. Yeah, the North's coach just sung out then, wanted to see that transition over to the right-hand side of the pitch, which is a good call from him. He doesn't want to see that going straight in and wasted over the baseline bit more build up I think they'd be looking for so that'll be their chat at half time I'd say so the ball just finding Tate's foot there so another chance here for Norse looking for their first Jaco Aubrey Wodonga goal of the day oh it's Beath into the circle winds <laughs> up on one of the finest angles you come across from the baseline has a shot at goal he's in the circle he will shoot Dom he loves it perfect we like to see it have a crack I love it. He's probably the only one that can get away with it. There is, I think anyone else in the association, if they did that, the team would be f right up them and into them for wasting a shot. But So North's just putting on a real defensive press here, trying to keep the ball forward. But Wodonga, with a bit of skill and speed, find their way through. Santa leaves the Pertell in his wake. Ethan Albon hasn't touched Great it too skill. much in the circle. Flicks it through. Almost... Almost found the streaming Wodonga player in. He was looking for Burke. He nearly got him. That would have been something special, Dom. Yeah, that skill there from Albon. Awesome to watch. Really good. Pick up on the move. And then so lift, one motion. Less than two minutes to go on our Cavalier Homes time clock. Second quarter. Norse looking to tie it up by half time and Wodonga looking to get that 2-0 two, two lead. Quilton, that's Mac bringing it up. But Farrant, strong all night down there. Looking at both Get and Beath. Minute 30 to go. North probably want to try press this in and get a couple of opportunities here. And Beath just at the moment looks like he's plotting something, doesn't he? <laughs> It's a bit of a worry when he looks like that, to be honest. The cog's ticking <laughs> over in his head. He's just thinking, how do I get through these guys here? So I'm not sure, I'm not sure yeah, I'd be surprised Tor realised he, he was playing hockey, not soccer there. Yeah. Threw the boot out. If an umpire's seen that, he'll be in a bit of trouble here. I've no, actually been sent off for that before, yeah. but I can tell you it was an accident. I was trying to jump out of the way and it effectively just didn't get very high off the ground. Yeah. So we're under a minute to go in the second quarter. Norse are pegged down a little bit in their back line here, looking to get through. Graham just holding possession. Probably looked at the clock and thought, just need oh, to clear it out, but uncharacteristically from Graham. Albon looked to get back to Tate. Burke it was, just winning the long corner for his team. Or is it a 16? I think it's a north 16, ball. I think. Yeah. 
Thought the ref had pointed long corner. Probably wasn't Matt Graham's so finest moment, that one, with 30 seconds to go on the clock. Yeah, just need to keep possession here and make sure Wodonga don't have another crack. They don't have time take to the themselves, corner. Norse, but even Wodonga have realised they won't have time either, and that'll take us to half time. 1 0 to Wodonga, 1 Jaco Aubrey, Wodonga goal. Josh Pritchard, our goal scorer in the first half, and were we expecting 1 0 at half time, Dom? I don't think so. I think I was expecting a bit more fast flying, a few more goals from both teams, to be honest. But so, take us through to the half time break. We'll be back just after half time. This time, hopefully, not a 15 minute break with the power out. It's just a couple of minutes, Dom. Just jumping in here in the halftime break, people. You would not believe it. The power has gone out again. So we are in darkness at the Aubrey Hockey Centre again. We will keep you updated as we go. Remember last time it was about a 15-minute break, so we'd be hoping that's all it is again. Keep checking on the website. We'll give you an update as we go. Thanks, people.
Evening everybody, just an update for you here. The power is still out at the Aubrey Hockey Centre and surroundings. The games have been called off tonight. We will update people with the results and outcomes. They are trying to figure this out as to what's going to happen and I'm sure Hockey will, Aubrey Wodonga will update everyone once they have that. Thanks for tuning in tonight. We'll catch you on our next stream.